How well do you know your heart failure medications? Take our quiz. Now that you've completed watching my four part series on heart failure, here's a quiz to gauge how well you retain the material. And even if you haven't watched my videos, take the quiz anyway to see how well you do. There will be 17 questions. After each question, I'll leave a gap of time so you can think of the answer. Place the video on hold if you need more time. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Heart failure is the second leading cause of hospitalization in patients older than 65 years. True or false? The answer is false. It is the number one leading cause of hospitalization in patients older than 65 years. Question number two. The 60-day readmission rate for heart failure can be as high as 35%. True or false? The answer is true. Question number three. The five-year mortality of heart failure is approximately A, 10%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 75%? The answer is C, 50%. Question number four. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, HFREF, refers to a patient with an ejection fraction less than or equal to 40%. True or false? The answer is true. Question number five. B-type natriuretic peptide, BNP, levels that are less than 400 picograms per ml are highly indicative of heart failure. True or false? The answer is false. BNP levels should be greater than 400 picograms per ml to be indicative of heart failure. Question number six. The neurohormonal system is activated in heart failure. It consists of activation of A, the RAS system, B, increases in BNP and ADH, C, the sympathetic nervous system, or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Question number seven. The fundamental drugs used in heart failure include all of the following except A, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, B, beta blockers, C, evabradine, or D, spironolactone. The answer is C, Evabradin. Question number eight. A majority of heart failure patients do not take all three traditional drugs and many do not reach their targeted dosages. True or false? The answer is true. Question number nine. Which of the following is not an adverse reaction to ACE inhibitors? A, cough, B, hypokalemia, C, angioedema, or D, teratogenic? The answer is B, hypokalemia. ACE inhibitors cause hyperkalemia. Question number 10. Secubitril is a neprilysin inhibitor that decreases BNP levels. True or false? The answer is false. Secubitril increases BNP levels. 
Question number 11. One concern surrounding the use of Valsartan Secubitril is its potential to lead to A. Ketoacidosis, B. Bladder cancer, C. Alzheimer's disease, or D. Bone fractures. The answer is C. Alzheimer's disease. Question number 12. If Aberdeen can be added on to a beta blocker in patients with a heart rate of 60 or greater to improve cardiovascular outcomes, true or false? The answer is false. Only for those patients with heart rates of 70 or greater benefit from the addition of Evabridine. Question number 13. Tovaptin, a vasopressin receptor antagonist, failed to show any significant benefit on clinical outcomes when added to traditional therapy. True or false? The answer is true. Question number 14. Hydralazine isosorbide has been found to be beneficial in what group of patients with heart failure? A. Hispanic patients, B. African American patients, C. Asian patients, or D. Caucasian patients? The answer is B. African American patients. Question number 15. Diuretics not only relieve symptoms of fluid retention and heart failure, but they also provide a mortality benefit for improved survival. True or false? The answer is false. Diuretics do not provide a mortality benefit. Question number 16. In patients with heart failure, SGLT2 inhibitors can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure, A, only in diabetic patients, B, only in African-American diabetic patients, C, only in non-diabetic patients, or D, regardless of whether the patient has diabetes or not. The answer is D, regardless of whether the patient has diabetes or not. And now the final question, number 17. Vericiguat stimulates which enzyme to increase production of cyclic GMP to cause vasodilation? A, angiotensin converting enzyme, B, neprilysin, C, nitric oxide synthetase, or D, guanylate cyclase? The answer is D, guanylate cyclase. So how well did you do? I hope these questions best summarize the topic of heart failure. If you need more help learning about this subject, please take a look at my YouTube four-part lecture series on heart failure. And stay in touch with us at the PharmEasy Tutor for more lectures on pharmacy and medicine related topics. Thanks for tuning in to watch this installment of the PharmEasy Tutor. I hope you learned something that you could use at school or in practice. If you'd like to continue to see more of these types of tutorials on YouTube, please make sure to click on the subscribe button below to change it from red to gray. Also, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you can click on the thumbs up icon below to change the color to blue. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to add them in the comment section below or share this site with someone else. Stay tuned to the Farm Easy Tutor channel for more lectures in the upcoming weeks. So until next time, remember to take it easy.